Uh, Wendy, you know, uh, obviously having been close to the two of you and watched this process, I can remember when you were dealing with the U.S. government early on, before you even signed the deal with Merck. But give us a little background there and your expectations now from your partner, Merck, obviously, which, which has this drug, in terms of their ability to manufacture. How many courses can, can Merck potentially come up with as soon as this thing is uh, uh, approved under emergency usage? Thanks, David. So the primary reason that we originally went to the U.S. government was for help with manufacturing. We were, we felt an obligation that if the drug were to work, we wanted to have enough for everyone. Um, we never got government funding. Um, so we then turned to Merck, who is a tremendous commercial partner, to help us get this to the people. So they have publicly announced that they'll have 10 million treatment courses available by the end of the year, as well as they've also entered into We've entered into voluntary license agreements with um, different generic manufacturers to allow it to get to sort of other parts of the world that would not be able to afford it. And Wendy, what are your expectations then beyond that? Uh, you know, we were talking before we, we came to the two of you uh, about countries where vaccination rates continue to be low, where there's certainly the possibility of even other variants perhaps being as devastating as Delta has been. Um, is Merck going to be able to produce a lot more than 10 million courses into 2022? So the great news about, the great part of the news today related to variants is that 80% of the patients that were available had either gamma, Delta, or mu. Um, so we've seen its power against the variants and the voluntary license agreements that we've entered into allow for generic manufacturers to sell it at as close to cost as possible for the rest of the world.